Welcome back, everyone. So, like I said, I went and uh, did some stuff, fixed some things up, and uh, you might notice I'm, I'm injured on my right shin. When I was uh, building stuff, I picked up a lot of logs, and I had to go through a fence, uh, one of the partially built walls, and apparently I, like, scraped my shin on a... Um, nail or a board or something and I got injured so I had to banish that. That's why I'm injured there. Also went ahead and uh you can't see it, but I'll show you what I've done. We'll just drive past it here real quick. So the first thing that I've done is I walled that area in to kind of protect that area from zombies wandering back into the hospital. And if we come down here, over to the gas station, we see a couple of zombies just hanging out. I think there's a little cluster on the road down here that I've been bypassing and ignoring and all that. We'll see. They have a couple scuffles with zombies here and there. Had to uh, kill them. And all that, so there's a couple more bodies around you might notice. But anyway, here's our place. I moved that truck that we had, our original guy, and I moved it here just so it's kind of in an obvious place. And as you can see, the entirety of the gas station is now surrounded by a wall. And that's pretty much all that I did. I just built that wall, finished it, and all that. And uh, now, let's see where we want to build the next wall. So we have this gate here. I can just pass through that. So this gate is this area here, right? We have pretty much all of this surrounded by chain link fence, which the zombies can't get through, obviously. We kind of drive down over here. There's a bunch of cars. There's a couple of zombies hanging out in here. Um, so, using this area as basically free walled in area would be perfect for us since there's only one entrance to it and all that what we need to decide is how we want the choke point for this place to be because i could just at the entrance where the blockades are i could just go ahead and board that area up right i could just put boards across here call that good and whatnot but i don't want to do that i want this whole area more or less surrounded, right? So, what we could do, I could build sort of like that. You put a, a wall like right here. And then, I just need to figure out where exactly good so it's just a window in there so as long as we didn't expose that side I guess it might be easier if we just actually get out of the vehicle and walk around no way I'm not burning gas you know so let's get out I'm gonna throw my uh, sledgehammer that I'm carrying in the back here so we're not burdened like that now let's just run around okay so this is the gas station so what we could do is we could bring a um, from here, we could bring a fence along this way, connect it with this, then just knock down the door and the window there, and then board them up myself, right? And then, if we come up here, we'll see where this building starts, where the hospital building starts, and then the chain link fence ends here. So, I guess if we just come straight up here... We can connect it right there, and that'll cut that off rather nicely. And then if we look past the hospital here, we could just destroy these windows and replace them with walls. Because then once we get to here, we have a fence all the way around to the front, right? Let me hop this real quick. And once we have the, the fence here, we don't have to worry about you know, putting anything up. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I was going to say cut through, but those aren't doors, those are windows. I 
Which, yeah, as you can see, we got a solid fence here, up down there, around over here. I wonder why this fence like even exists right here. Because it goes like this, and then it just ends like right over here. Also, we have lost a little more weight. We're down to uh, 86. I think last time we saw we were 89 or something like that. And the fence comes down here. So the next part that is a problem is how do we close in this side down here? This is probably the largest side without anything going on with it. So, I mean, we could potentially just go like this, have it hit this side of the building, use the building, knock out those windows and stuff like we do, and then come down here to here, which would leave that open. And then from here, we just kind of follow the building, take out those windows, and just kind of leave this park not enclosed, right? It'd still be a lot of work to knock out the windows and everything there, but we could then use this edge and let's see. I suppose it would just come straight down over to here and then we would notch it off like that. Hey, we got a zombie over here. Hey there. Where'd you come crawling in? Actually, were you the one that was in the, the car park over there? Alright. But anyway, let's get in the car so we can rest up and then we'll look at the map. Basically, what I was thinking... If I, uh... We would basically put a wall here going up to that and then we have the uh the fence that goes like this right over to here then we would put our stuff like that and then from here it would just go boop boop which then surrounds this area like this and then we go from here up to that little uh thing there and then more fence up to here which would go over to here which then has a whole area up here, which goes down to here. And then we just build a little bit over to there. So that whole area we would basically be securing to use for uh, our base, right? That would be sort of the, uh, the plan. Also, I'm just gonna put a... Why is that so small? There we go. Hospital there. Perfect. So yeah, that's kind of the, the plan, or the outline anyway, that we would have. And uh, yeah, it looks okay, I think. Granted, it would be cooler to, you know, just have this whole block isolated, but I think just this part alone would take so much wood. It would be uh, a little insane to consider doing that at the moment. So, I don't think we will. Anyhow, uh, we have some trees and stuff around here. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with the car park and then attach it to the, uh, the gas station here, I think. And we'll start by working on this little thing here by destroying the, the various components. So let's car, head out here. And I'm just going to grab the sledgehammer. Then we can go ahead and destroy these things real quick. I'll destroy both of those and this window. There we go. Now we can uh, go ahead and put stuff in there again. Oh, a juice box. That's cool. Anything interesting in here? No, not really. All right. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll just kind of connect that up. So that'll be the first little wall we put there, and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and put the sledgehammer away, since it is fairly heavy. Um, equip the shotgun quick. 
The only concern that I'm going to have is whether or not we have enough durability on our axe here to handle doing all this, right? Because I had to use up every single log we had down at the uh, other logging area in order to plug the holes in the gas station. So we're not doing too well in terms of that. Why does it sound like it's nighttime almost? I'm just gonna clear up this little section. Then we'll go back to the truck and uh, chillax. My guy is exhausted. some logs while we're at it. I can only carry four at a time in the backpack without, you know, bundling them together. But that's fine. We can go ahead and eat a half of the stale cabbage we have, because apparently everything goes stale really quick when it's not in the fridge. Right, go ahead and put the logs into the trunk here. All right. Hop in the van and we'll take a little rest. And let's wait until one. There we go. Okay. Let's cut down these little trees here. be a nice little area because we can uh, use this as kind of a staging point for all this to cut them into planks and then to go down to the, uh, the gas station here so we'll try and use the trees that are in the area that we want to board up you know let's take care of these like five trees here Again, load up the four that we can carry. Load up the four that we can carry. Okay. We're also getting tired, which is not great. So. Then while we're walking up, because we can't run, let's go ahead and have a smoke. And store the logs. There we go. I'm gonna store the wood axe. We'll start uh, constructing now after a short rest. Go ahead and eat the rest of that cabbage and we just wait. Well, it would be nice if we could sleep in the car. Oh, can that exhaustion not be fixed because I'm too, uh, too tired? Oop. All right, well, if that's the case, let's go into the hospital real quick. And we will uh, take a nap, I suppose. They have plenty of beds in there, so better than finding somewhere else. Let's see, where were the nearest beds in here? Oh, hey, we got a couple of zombies in here. How cute. Not anymore, though. We already cleared this place out a little bit once. It wasn't, like, perfectly cleared, but... It was, you know, better than nothing. I know that zombie's still alive, but I want to find where uh, a bed is at first. I 
they all on the second floor or are there any down here on the first? Yeah, it's average quality. I think everything in here is average quality, so sleeping here won't hurt us at all. Shouldn't anyway. The one thing I'm not going to like here is that it's going to be uh, middle of the night when we wake up. Okay. Get our baseball bat. It'll be better for uh, the zombies than shotgun since there's only one of them. I'd rather not waste my shotgun shells any more than I have to. I just brought them along to clear out any small little groups. Oh, it's raining. Lovely. Okay, yeah. I don't know where those two zombies who are still alive here went. One was over here and then one was following me, but you know what? I think it's fine. We don't see it. Out of sight, out of mind, you know? As they say. Probably wandered off somewhere else to ruin someone else's day. Not on me. Okay. Let's start looking for the uh, the logs that we chopped up. We gotta be around here somewhere, right? Down here. We gotta go with the ones that are furthest away first. I can carry one more. Make it a nice six. Or will I start taking damage? Start taking damage, but if I equip the shotgun, will I be better? Yes, I will. Nice. Alright. <clears throat> Do it to it, folks. So we are going to start taking damage here once we saw all these logs, but it's fine. Shit! Excuse you? Well, that could have been worse. All right. So did I start dropping those planks? Drop my fucking heavy load now, so what? Where did that one come from? Oh, come on. You know what? Screw it. There's three of them. It's shotgun time. This is why I don't like doing night stuff. Hard to see. Little Yahoo ass motherfuckers. How many more are there are you back here? Be two. Should have been a kill there. Okay, let me go up here. I'm gonna turn around, sit on the ground, and wait for a little bit. Jackasses. 
Okay. Okay. I don't have any goddamn nails. Let me go pick some up. The one thing I forgot to grab. Okay. I'm gonna grab one more box of them, though. Go. Okay. Let's go ahead and start building them. I'm going to go uh, a little bit past the sidewalk here. I, I didn't mean to jump through that. That was my bad. Okay. I'm going to go to, like, right here. Then we'll start going up. Out, but that's not going to be the case here. I think I just saw like eight logs on the ground at once there. Take two more. One, two. Okay. Oh, now I'm overweight, probably because I have the extra nails now. That's fine, I can just toss these on the ground once I get over here. We're not losing too much from it. Okay, let's try replacing bandage real quick. Check to see real quick. We are infected. That's fine. I'll deal with that at another time. Drop those on the ground. Pick up the ones we can carry. Okay. I guess we'll eat the next half of that. Okay, how are we doing over here for zombies? Anything nearby that's gonna bite me? It doesn't look like it. Okay. No, the, the wall. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish this side of the wall. of these planks. Only four, so we're only going to be able to do those two walls remaining, but still. Perfect. I should finish that little bit up. We'll be good. Am I able to clean this bandage with the water I have? I, I can. Go ahead and do that. Might not be the best use of my water currently, but we have infinite water at home, so as long as we're grabbing that, should be fine. Let me go ahead and equip my shotgun. Gotta lower my weight so I can carry two more logs, hopefully without getting injured in the process. Yep, perfect. Not losing health now. Kind of go up here and then over to there again. So, soft planks, all. As long as I can quickly do it, I shouldn't be losing too much uh, health and stuff from being overburdened. A 
those uh, animal noises are kind of annoying. Yep. Shotgun gets equipped again. I will once again go down and grab the furthest away logs. These two or three, I guess. These two. Bandages. We might have to go home and disinfect our wounds. I'd really not appreciate uh, dying here. Yep. Let's start the hammering. This last cabbage, we are out of food now. So let's just finish up this little bit, head back home, and then we can uh, disinfect our wounds and, and all that jazz. So go ahead and clean this bandage. We're gonna replace that bandage with that. There we go. Alrighty. Next closest. Where right, I need to equip a shotgun so we can actually carry more stuff back. Two more. And then the final two we can carry will be here. No, hold on. Just grab half. Okay, cool. Then let's go ahead and clean that bandage with some more of my water. Oh, I can't do that while moving, huh? Okay. That'll just help lighten the load a little bit more. Okay. Now then. Thaw. And we drop. Excellent. I'm just going to move these planks into my backpack and take the rest. Hold. All right. Carpentry. Wall. Wall frame. Not there, though. planks here, which unfortunately is not going to be enough to uh, finish up the building as well, but we can at least finish up this. There we go, that's all done. We can go to carpentry, wooden frame, the one right there. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and just pick up these two logs. Go ahead and saw them up. Use those to finish these. There we go. All right. This fortification is finished. Love to see it. Oh, man. Okay, so next. We have this whole stretch of road down here. It's probably going to straight build straight from there on down to there. Uh, be probably the plan. So let's go ahead and pick up the logs that we can. Okay. 
And I'm just going to move them all over to here. So everything's kind of nicely clustered up for us. Oh, I think we're also we're out of nails, it looks like. We're going to have to get some more from the, the van if we want to build more. Let's just search around a little bit further for any missing logs like this one. Might as well look like that's all the logs we currently have. So I'm going to drop these here. And then uh, let's go ahead and just saw all the planks that we can. Oh, nice. It didn't even, like try to pick them up and put them in inventory. Perfect. Now we just have all these planks here. All right. So it is getting to be that time. We need to disinfect our wounds and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and head back home temporarily. Did I jackknife the trailer? Come on. Okay. Kinda did. I'm not really gonna worry about that um, dirty bandage there right now. But we're going home to disinfect it anyway, so. What would even be the point? But hopefully by the end of today, today's video at least, we'll have that nice section of wall uh, nice and put up so everything from the south of the hospital will be uh, boarded up. The north is basically finished, since it already had most of the chain link fence and just that one little opening up here. The east and the west are the uh, hardest, longest stretches that we're going to have to deal with. Alright. Home sweet home. Was there anything in the trailer or the trunk that I wanted to pick up? I'll need the sledgehammer still. So, no. Door closed. Thank you. Also, one neat thing I found out while I was building the, the road down, not the road, the, the, the gas station fence. Apparently, exercising, at least just doing it once for like an hour or until I get exhausted, doesn't cause muscle pain anymore. So, because we've been doing it regularly, it's like our body has a. Uh, gotten used to it, so it no longer gets hurt when we do that. So let's go ahead and fill everything up. Take a drink. Alright. So first off, let's go ahead and remove these. I need to disinfect. Use alcohol wipes. We'll go ahead and use Let's just use an adhesive bandage. Why not? And then we'll uh, replace and disinfect with that one. Let's do the same for that one, just to make sure. Oh, never mind. Nope, I don't need those in the machine. That's good. There we go. And then this thing, I just can clean in the sink here. Perfect. Love to see it. All right. All right. So I also farmed up a bunch of uh, radishes, uh, you might notice. They uh, are not very filling at all. You gotta eat like 10 of them to do like anything. That's why I was pulling cabbage with me still. Eat it. Let's eat another, come on. There we go, got the nice food buff. All right. Excellent. If you look at our info, we're still losing weight. We're down to 85. Uh, I keep saying pounds because I'm American, but I think the game's in kilos. So we're going to take one, two, three, four tomatoes. You know what? Make it five. I'm feeling, feeling quirky today. All right. And then, oh, look, carpentry reached the max level. Let's go ahead and transcribe into our journal that information. I think we also gained a stat in Nimble. So, we're doing pretty well. 
Okay. Now that we have our food situation and everything, let's also do some exercises while we're at home. Get that nice regularity up there. Exercise for an hour or until we get exhausted, which, you know, we got exhausted. So that goes. We'll just rest. And now we need to sleep, huh? Fine. Better to sleep here than need to sleep when we're out and about and have to use a, uh, a gurney. Always so odd. Okay. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and eat uh, a couple of radishes to top us off. There we go. You know what? Eat one more. Just, just one more. Let's get ourselves satiated. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, now that we have more food and we're rested up and all that, let's head on down to finish up that bit of wall that we have. And I'll be honest, this is probably all really tedious for you guys, but I think showing the process here, uh, at least partially, like we did for the gas station, is kind of important. So once we finish this episode's building around the uh, the hospital, um, I think I'll just kind of do the rest myself. But once we finish with uh, connecting the parking lot area to the gas station, uh, what we can do is I'll just, in my free time while we're not recording, Finish everything else in the hospital, and then I'll show you guys how it works. Then we'll go kill a bunch of zombies or something uh, after that. There's not many more zombies around, so we might uh, might have to go somewhere else. I don't know. We could go to the mall up in the uh, upper right, because I heard that the mall has a, a gun store. So if we get there, we can get a bunch more ammo and use that to clear out more zombies. It would just be a whole hell of a fun time. So I should probably turn. Let's turn on this little path. I don't know if it'll cut our speed or anything, but there we go. That's fine. It looks like. And then what's cool once we finish up this little uh, stretch of land, we could even, if we really wanted to, tear down some of the fence there around the gas station, so we don't have to like hop the fence every time we wanted to get in or out there. Oh, hold on. I almost forgot to grab some nails. Open a box. There we go. Also, I'm going to take these logs. There we go. That way I have more over here that I can just cut up. And Oh, cool. We have another dirty bandage already. All right. Uh, saw everything. Drop all that on the ground. Uh, replace the bandage, please. Cool. Alright. Fill up the backpack with planks. And let's start doing our wall. So I think for this, what we might do, instead of uh, doing part of the wall and then building more of it with... Uh, like actually putting the wall part up, we might just do frame all the way across. See how that goes for us. Making some decent progress here, though. Alright, alright, alright. We have 18 more planks left. I'll just grab those four in my inventory as well. Why not? Uh, 
but we're a little over halfway there. Oh. You know what? I uh, I may be getting bored of doing this. No way, right? You might be thinking to yourself, how could he get bored of building walls? Well, I can. <clears throat> I mean, it's just such a tedious and just annoying work. Like, maybe if I was, like, with other people, right? And I was... Mm. Oh, those bandages don't come... Well, I guess I used adhesive ones for those two, but yeah. If I had other people who were, like, bringing me supplies and stuff, I wouldn't mind just bam, 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 knocking stuff out. But being the one who's cutting down trees, collecting stuff and all that, I don't know. It's just so tedious. So I think we're done. We've proven more or less that we can do it. We've been able to handle it just fine. So I don't see why we need to continue. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to grab the stuff out of my uh, trunk here that we don't need. There we go. And we're just going to go home. So uh, we're just going to wrap things up and prepare for uh, tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, I guess. The, uh, the next video that we're going to be doing. We're just heading to the mall. I figure it's a decent enough time to do so anyway. We got to couple minutes left before then we'll just kind of consolidate what we're doing get ready and then we'll head on up there but yeah if oof, if I got bored doing that little bit we just did there doing this whole side and stuff is gonna get ugh yeah I'm abandoning this idea our base is strong and good enough, and we have the gas station surrounded, so that's fine. And the, the car park is basically secure down there, so if we need vehicles, we can just go in and do it, but... Yep. Alright, lights off. Brakes on. Be done. Go! Alright. So for the mall... What we probably want to do, we want to make sure that we have uh, all our shotgun shells, because we're probably going to burn through a lot of them uh, if there's huge hordes in the in the mall. Then, we're going to make sure we want to have some like disinfectant and stuff like that. If not on our person, at least stored in the van so we can go back to it to uh, use it in the event that we get injured. We we'll also want to get a, if I have a new baseball bat, probably a new one. I should also check the uh, durability on this guy. It looks like it's fine. Let's actually equip it so we can uh, store the stuff we do not need here. All right, so we got that. We got the axe. Well, axe is, I guess. That there. All right. That. There we go. All right. Um, throw the axe in here, Oops. and we want to store the nails and the hinges and stuff into here. We're gonna keep the sledgehammer with us because, uh, <clears throat> as we've seen, it might uh, lead to uh, at, at the previous gun store we needed a sledgehammer to break into stuff. So I think that was good to have. I'm gonna put the tomatoes back in here for right now. And then uh, let's grab everything else we're going to be using here. So, let's grab one adhesive wipe. Fuck it, make it two. Let's grab one thing of painkillers, one thing of beta blockers. Grab a couple more bandages here. I don't think I'll need anything else, medical supply wise, anyway. And put that stuff in the backpack. Next, we want shotgun shells. So, how many can we fit in our backpack? About that many. Okay. The rest I'll take here. 
we'll just put these in the truck or the van or whatever and then be able to use them as we as we need to so all right I don't think we have anything to transcribe, but maybe a little bit of sprinting experience, I guess. But let's go ahead and transcribe into the journal. All right. Mm. Good. All right, so. Let's do a smoke. Let's do some exercises. Let's sleep. We'll get nice and rested, hopefully. Hmm. I actually have exercise fatigue. That's surprising. I'm going to replace these bandages to see if the uh, injury was gone. Why did I put a bandage back on? Ah, uh, that one's actually bitten, so that'd be why that one uh, is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Okay. See, so yeah, we're fatigued, but that's okay. Let's head to the sink. Go ahead and fill our water bottle. Get a final drink. We didn't even need to drink that, but okay. And then one, two, three, four, five. These. Oh. We should also probably... Uh, well, let's eat a couple radishes here. And one more for the road. Radishes are nice because I can just kind of keep popping them in my mouth until, you know, stuff happens. But anyway, we got our sledgehammer, we got our drugs and stuff. We have uh, all that nonsense. I don't know why I went around. All right. I think we have everything we need to get into the gun store at the mall, potentially. So from what I saw, the gun store is on the first floor in the back, kind of in the northwest corner. So maybe we try to get to the back entrance. We get into there first, that way we have less room to travel. I mean... We have a sledgehammer, we can just break down walls. Nothing will stand in our way. Okay. Let's just check what's in the van here. Just empty gas cans, perfect. Go ahead and unload this stuff. Although I think I'll keep beta blockers and stuff here on me. There we go. Okay. Talking shells, I'm gonna put these back in my backpack. And uh, let's unload one. Unload two. Okay, so the only thing in my backpack should not be the shotgun shells. We have a bunch of them here to spare. Alright. Let's get in the vehicle, take a look at the map. We're going up to here. This is the mall, apparently. So, we need to go. If we just take this road up until we have to turn, we'll then reach there. So, let's just do that for now. Vehicle size to start. Hopefully we can get there early morning, clear out any zombies that are around us, then we can end the video right before we go into the mall. But tomorrow, we can go into the mall and try to clear the mall. Why do I feel so slow right now? I guess I'm going 30, but I don't know. The car seems like it's smooth and slower, don't it? I don't know. Who can really say? Go ahead and turn on our headlights, though. Seat warmer. Oh, no. Oh, fuck! That's what I get for having that on, huh? Also nice we can kind of scout around and see where the zombies are uh, gathering up. Go up the road here. 
Oh, I forgot to get a new baseball bat, but I don't expect we're going to be doing much melee. If we do melee, it's going to be like kind of like a last resort. And at that point, we should be running away anyway, so... Is that the T-intersection? It can't be. Then he has to go further up. Mox Pack Kitchen. Here's where we want to turn, you believe. Uh-oh. Out of the way. I'm going to open up my uh, map real quick. Yep, this is where I want it to be. I don't know why I turned there. That's odd. All right, so the next large street, I think it is. Not the next large one. The next, next one. That's where we want to turn. We got some burnt out things here. Look at all the zombies going to form their little hordes. So this one. Right? Yes, and then we want to go down this street. As long as we're heading to the north, uh, east, we should get there at some point, so. Okay, we want to turn left, then I think it's right again, so. Yes. We'll go up and around this car like that. Out of the road, jackass! I think it's getting morning so we can turn off our lights. They're not helping too much anymore. Yeah, if we keep going to this, we'll hit the dead end where the side of the mall is at. So we can try to get around to the back of it. I've never been to the mall. I think we might have driven past it that one time, but uh, other than that, I don't think we've been here before, so. Is there a rear entrance, like parking lot or anything like that here? Not really. Okay. Hop out. Pull some zombies away, and then I'll just like, kind of open a, a random hole with a sledgehammer. Come on, zombies. I know y'all hear me. Come on out. Hey. Hey, y'all. Looks like I'm in a swamp or something with all the like, water on the ground. Kinda cool. It's just this one. Oop. No sense wasting another bullet on her. Alright. Oh, we got one more here. We came out. All right. Clear down that way. Let's clear down that way, other than this zombie who was hiding behind a single small little tree. And that one there too, I guess. How many more zombies are hiding behind this tree? Okay. I don't think there's any more trees that they can be hiding behind there. Look at that, those little trees. I don't know how they're like hiding that much, but okay. All right, let's go ahead and grab the sledgehammer. Destroy. Maybe this is where the gun store is at. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is just a back hallway. Okay, shit. Let's equip the gun. Once I yelled, hopefully that will get the zombies' attention. Enough for me to do that. Oh man, I should have waited just like another second. I had a third one there. Is it just you, sir? Yep. 
La bonk. Go ahead and put the sledgehammer away for now because it's weighing me down. Something fierce. I think that's the gun store right there. Judging by the uh, clock miss of it. Oh fuck, what? Are you fucking kidding? What? Why did my guy run like that, of all things? Why would he do that, y'all? You know what? That was stupid. You should not have ran in. Because I did not press in, I pressed D to run away. We're respawning. That's just dumb. Unacceptable is what that is. Ouch. Okay. Don't have all of our stuff. That's a thing, I guess. Really didn't want to have to do that, but kind of necessary, given the nonsense that we experienced right there. And where are we at? Oh, we're actually not that far away. Cool. All we have to do is head uh, up north and basically be there. So let's go cause some havoc. We'll get back to the uh, the van and we'll wrap things up there for this video. Am I taking more damage, or am I, like, fine? I think I'm fine. I'm not losing any more, it looks like. I'm just in a little bit of discomfort from having my bones ripped apart by the zombies. I'm not really going to engage zombies unless there's, like, multiple around. Because I don't want to switch to the baseball bat for, like, no real reason, you know? one okay yeah if we would have had like a normal death like i messed up and you know like a zombie came in behind us for example that'd be fine but for some reason having my guy go into that room when i pressed d and w rather than him staying out uh was kind of weird so i don't accept that death that one was not great that one was stupid Like I said, we're killing zombies. I love killing zombies. It all works out. I didn't want to hit her. Well, whatever. Shouldn't have shot her. That was a waste of a shotgun shell. Mm Like, here's what happened. I was, like, facing this way, right? Opening the door. And then I hit that to run away. But instead of going the way I wanted, they were like, oh, you want to go in the room with the zombies? Okay. Oh, got to reload. You know when zombie shows where, like, the survivors are, like, not wanting to kill any zombies? And they're like, oh, there's, like, one zombie right there. We don't see any others. We're just gonna, you know, sneak around it instead. Why? If the zombie apocalypse really happened, your goal should be to kill every single zombie you can see safely. Right? You can safely kill them safely. If you can safely kill them, you should kill them. Because every zombie you kill is a zombie that's not going to be there to bite you later, right? And if you, like, 
let one or two zombies go now, that's one or two zombies that could join up with a, a larger horde, cause problems, right? And zombies are a finite resource, right? They're not going to be able to, like, make more zombies. Even if they do bite you and, and turn you into a zombie, uh, a new zombie wasn't necessarily made. You just became one, right? It's not like the zombies can breed or anything. The only thing that happened was that you joined the ranks, right? But if you killed two, the total number of zombies went down by one. You know? So if you can kill at least two zombies in a zombie survival game, it's a net win for humanity. So, even like in real life, if there's zombies around, you manage to kill two, you know, that's a victory for humanity. Because every single zombie if you kill after the first one is just nothing but profit, baby. First one is just an exchange for your life. The rest are for the money, right? That's what I'm trying to say. We're gonna have to just clear this little bit out first, or else we won't be able to get into the van to relax. How am I gonna get rid of this, this injured thing? Reload again. And then we'll reload one more time here. Just 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 you lady? No one else out here? Okay. Oh of course as soon as I put the, the gun away, another one comes out. Two more came out. A couple more came out. A baseball bat's not gonna last much longer. Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted to stomp them, not shoot them. That's unfortunate. Oh, our discomfort's slowly lowering. Our health's starting to go up, right? Okay. We went through quite a few shotgun shells, it looks like. Go ahead and open another box. There we go. You the last zombie that wants to come out right now, huh? Oh, they're just coming out like one at a time. It's, it's, it's pissing me off. Oop. Hey, you stay back. Okay. I think we're safe. I say safe, but you know. Anyway, folks, that'll be all for today. Tomorrow we go into the mall, start clearing it out, and then we uh, try and get more guns and ammunition and stuff. Maybe we'll find an AK. If we can find a, an AK-47, we have a magazine for it at home, and then we can start just firing wildly into the, into the field, or in the field of zombie hordes, I don't know. You know, when I went and I set up the, the zombie lore, not the zombie lore, advanced zombie options, where I put rally group size to a hundred, a thousand. I was expecting there to be actual groups that were a thousand uh, full, but uh, it didn't really work. So what if I reduce this, the group, a rally group separation? If I reduce that, I think the distance between zombie groups was 25 cells before, but if it's five, then maybe they'll see each other and merge into one group, right? So let's set this to uh, three for the group rally radius. Because they can travel 50, whatever the units. I don't know if it's blocks or if it's the little cube things, right? Um, or if it's like meters or whatnot. But anyway, they can travel 50. 
you get in a group of a thousand and there's a minimum distance of five between the groups well that should hopefully help us out yeah we'll see anyway that'll be the settings for next time we'll go into the mall uh try to lure out as many as we can in fact what we probably will do we'll get into the van and we'll honk the horn a couple of times and just see if anyone comes out. If they do, we'll kill them. If they don't, we'll go in and see what's going on. We might actually widen that uh, area a little bit there as well before that. But anyway, until then, bye for now.